The purpose of this film is to kind of show the lives of undocumented students um, in a real perspective versus what the media portrays us to be. And we're humans just like you. And it's easier to put it in a video than in an article. Like more people will find it more entertaining and humanizing and um, yeah, it puts a face to the, I guess, to the problem. Mm -hmm. Uh, my name is Susanna Ramirez. I am undocumented. I was born in Colombia and I came here when I was five. Myth. Undocumented people don't pay taxes. So this myth sounds pretty reasonable because a lot of U.S. citizens and residents pay with their social security number. However, how about the people who don't have a social security number? So. Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, which was a memorandum that Barack Obama passed, um, gives DACA recipients a social security number. There's a number that the IRS created called an Individual Taxpayer Identification Number, and this number is given to people who are not U.S. citizens or residents, and this is the way that they pay their taxes. So it's not a coincidence that under exclusive legal terms, U.S. citizens and residents use a social security number, but people who don't fall under those same terms use another number to pay the same taxes. In 2012 alone, we paid more than $352 million in state and local taxes. So we're contributing to the same society that we all live in. The difference is that social security, people who pay with social security number probably get more benefits and get representation in their taxes. Whereas undocumented people who pay their taxes with a individual taxpayer identification number probably don't see the representation. An example of this is policy 416 and 434, which ban undocumented students from public education, um, and public education as in colleges like U UGA, GSU, Georgia Tech. The other one is that we don't um, get access to in-state tuition, even though most of us have been living here for more than a year, and that technically makes us Georgia residents. So my parents, and a lot of the undocumented people who pay taxes are contributing to schools that everyone else is allowed to except their children and me. Um, we're not allowed to go. There's comments like, oh, you guys don't pay taxes, you guys don't contribute. Um, and I just want to say that the reason why we're debunking these myths is because these myths are used to justify our discrimination and our oppression. Um, so that's myth one. My name is Daniel Castillo. I'm from Mexico, and I was born in Mexico, but raised in the US since I was three. Myth two, being undocumented is a race issue. Let's talk about intersectionality, such as discrimination, systemic institutionalized racism, the silencing of history, and how some people profit off of other people's misery. The rise of the Black Lives Matter movement has also conceded and intersected with the Fight for 15, mass incarceration movement, and of course, the undocumented movement. We know that we aren't um, going to be able to have economic and racial equality and justice unless we organize and work together. A couple of weeks ago, I attended a Fight for 15 rally in Atlanta, and I realized that you can't organize fast food workers and low-wage workers without including people of color um, and undocumented people because you can't separate these issues because these are their lives. Um, that's why I believe an increase in minimum wage would disproportionately affect people of color, uh, some of whom are undocumented. I visited the Stewart Detention Center, which is the largest immigration detention center in the country and is owned by the CCA, a for-profit prison company. Um, I realized that when we advocate for prison abolition, we should also highlight the violence in these immigration centers because often enough, people do not see this form of incarceration as part of the prison industrial complex. 
These past events uh, I visited have been really inspiring and enriching and made me realize that America is waking up and realizing that we should have liberty and justice for all. I hope that as a community we continue to work together and fight together and won't let this energy die out because I won't. My name is Salvador. I'm from El Salvador. I came to the United States when I was seven years old and I'm an undocumented student. Myth number three, undocumented people don't contribute to society. I'm an undocumented student working at a legal law firm. What a paradox, no? Uh, working to serve others in legal services, yet I can't serve myself to try to gain proper documentation here in the United States. I was brought to the United States when I was seven years old and I've been here ever since. Consider this my home. And so when you hear certain myths such as undocumented people to contribute to society or undocumented people just want everything handed down, um, you, you want to shed some light on that. Another point that you could see or that you would argue when you say undocumented individuals do not contribute to the economy or society is just look around right it's lunchtime here and i'm pretty sure that whatever our, our hands touch is touched by undocumented individuals right with the food we eat the the plates where we eat they're washed by undocumented people but i like i said earlier i came here when i was seven years old and i came from a very poor country el salvador um, you know, my mother brought us here because she wanted a better future for us. She wanted us to stay alive. And so I, I would say that making her proud would be one of the best, most influential parts of my life. We want to contribute just as much as anyone else or even more, right? We want to go out and be teachers, professors, attorneys, try to help society, right? In the end, try to create a more vivid, a more different, a more unique environment for all of us. It's not only me, it's thousands of us that just want to go out and get an education, just want to go out and contribute to the economy. So let's shed some light into this, these arguments. Let's all come out and say that we as undocumented people want to contribute as much as possible as we can and even more. Despite our legal status, despite what people think about us, we're here to work and work on guns with effort. So in the end, at the end of the day, all we want is to let people know that as undocumented people, we contribute to society. That we do pay taxes. And that being undocumented isn't just a race issue. And above anything else, we're human beings and we should be treated fairly. Thank you. I keep <laughs> <laughs> Thank you like, all at the Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Thank you. Okay. Debunking the justifications for our existence. <laughs> Oh, I need to see that. Are you okay? <laughs>